Good evening, everybody. It's Zachariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, like tonight for our second and final mile, we'll be running for another fallen corporal who have lost his life in the line of duty. So now I'm running for fallen corporal Ray Hamilton. He worked with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office in Florida and his end of watch was December 24th, 2022. He lost his life after he was shot and killed by a barricaded suspect. He was, um, he, his age is not immediately available, but we do, we do know he served five years with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office and leaves behind a loving family. So now we're running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track at my school with the equivalent of a mile in his honor. And I'll be joined tonight by many first responders, supporters, and my whole family. Before we start, to go into a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hearts of Mary going through. And then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuning in tonight, tonight, Zach Ryan now running his second mile of the evening, this mile tonight in honor of one of our home state heroes, fallen Corporal Ray Hamilton of the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, who tragically on Christmas Eve, December the 24th, was shot and killed by a barricaded subject. We do not know his age, it wasn't readily available, but we do know he served five years of service with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office here in Florida, sadly leaving behind a loving family. As Zechariah completes his first lap, this will be the first of seven laps tonight to honor the life of our home state hero, Fallen Corporal Ray Hamilton. We are always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zachariah tonight, helping to pay tribute to fallen Corporal Ray Hamilton. We have members of the UCF, the University of Central Florida Police Department, including their police chief running tonight as well. We have members of our home city agency, the Winter Springs Police Department, patrolling behind our runners tonight. Running with Zachariah, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based at the Orlando International Airport. We have a member of the Orange County Sheriff's Office here tonight playing bagpipes we have a piper from the central florida first responder bagpipes and drums band we also have joining us fellow youth runners juliana and Jaden, as well as other supporters here again we're here to pay tribute to a five-year veteran of the okaloosa county sheriff's office fallen corporal ray hamilton who tragically on christmas eve shot and killed while responding to a barricaded subject For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor tonight. Zechariah carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen Corporal Ray Hamilton, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you like information on how you can be a part of this mission, is it running the number four heroes.org? We'll also do a follow up post a little bit later in the evening. As Zechariah completes lap number three and starts lap number four, I'm going to go silent. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of our home state hero tonight, Fallen Corporal Hamilton. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to his family, as well as everybody with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office mourning the loss of this hero. Our hope is that this run honors him well, and we are forever thankful for his years of service.
Zachary, any final words this evening for the family of Fallen Corporal Ray Hamilton? To the entire family of Fallen Corporal Ray Hamilton, everybody at the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office in Florida, his loving family, and all the friends he made during his service in the five years that he served. We hope all be healed very soon through the passing of your loved one. It's always, it's terrible when any first partner passes away, but one passed away in my own state, home state of Florida, it just hits a little bit extra closer to me. Um, first of all, I want to thank all the agencies that are not usually out here that came out tonight because it was a Florida first responder. Um, we hope this run shows that the whole state of Florida and the whole United States is supporting Corporal Hamilton's family for the loss they're going through. Um, I know Okaloosa County is a sheriff's office. We, it's a sheriff's office that we rarely even have to do a run for. Um, so I'm sure this, this loss hits home to them very, very much so. And I do want to always act, act, you know, activate this or, or advocate this. Um, Corporal Hamilton was shot and killed by a barricade suspect. This barricade suspect could have made the easy choice not to do what he did that night no matter how scared he was for whatever he was being barricaded for. Um, but it's just, it, it always pains me in disgust when we have to run for a first responder simply because they were shot and killed by somebody that could have easily have decided not to take a life of somebody who had a whole family and department who loved him very dearly. Um, if you are part of, the, part of his family though, I will be sending you this flying flag around with Stein and Harris on it very soon. Along with the handwritten note I've written, has heard you sent out in your hero's name. We hope this run can help you out to the best of its ability. If all of you tonight and I join us in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day can one, one amazing thing. Corporal um, Hamilton during his life, including as a first responder in this community. Following this will also be a prayer, so if all of you now please bow our heads and join us in this 21 seconds at this time, please do right now. Dear God, tonight ran for two fallen first responders. Final one being for Fallen Corporal um, Hamilton of the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. God, I pray you watch over his whole family and department that the loss are going through. I pray you guide them to this run so they can find comfort. And finally, I pray that you watch over your first responders serving. Let them know that Corporal Hamilton is still by their side at every call they go to in spirit. Thank you again, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us these two miles tonight. Uh, this is the final two miles we'll be doing here, here until Thursday. Tomorrow we're doing a mile in Louisiana. Um, I'm not sure if other kids are running tomorrow. Um, but we're going to be back here on Thursday to do the three-mile COVID salute for all the COVID-19 first responders that have passed away the line of duty since we last did it in the summer. So stay tuned for that three-mile run and the Louisiana mile tomorrow. Um, we hope you all have a great rest of your 2022 year. Stay a prayer for our first responders for us this year. Hope you don't lose any more. And I pray God blesses you all.